Okay, in this video, we are continuing our technical setup and adding Google Analytics. Uh, for this purpose, we're just uh, basically getting it installed on the client's website in preparation to uh, track for the reporting aspect of, uh, of what we wanna show the client down the line. All right, so let me uh, pull up Google Analytics. Uh, actually, this is ClickUp, so we're just kind of tracking along Google Analytics setup. So really, uh, one of two things here, one, uh, either that we have access to the Google Analytics account from the client, meaning they already had a Google Analytics account and we just needed permissions. Uh, if you recall, this was part of the onboarding process and we showed them uh, just a quick little video uh, in the uh, type form questionnaire, a questionnaire as to how to add us as uh, an admin to their account. Now, if they don't have Google Analytics, then we have to create the account for them. So that's what I'm gonna show in this video because the more complicated, I and mean, it's not really complicated, but this is just the aspect that takes a little more work. So if we have access, then we can just, uh, you know, move along with our lives. And if uh, we need to create the Google Analytics account, this is how we do it. So uh, let's assume that we need to create the account, which in the case of this client, Color Bright Painting, we do because they do not have Google Analytics. Uh, we learned this from the, the onboarding client information form that they completed. All right, so I'm going to open up my Google Analytics account for this agency. And if you don't have one already, just create one. It's very simple. And it will, this is the main page after you've logged in. And in the lower left-hand corner, we're going to click on admin. And we're presented with a few options here. We want to go to the far left and click on create account. This is important because we want the ability to transfer the site back to the client if they need it. It's just better to keep everything as a separate entity and it makes it a little more complicated if you add it as a property or something like that. So we're going to create a brand new account for the client. So we're gonna click on create account and then put the name of the client. So this is color bright painting and you can leave everything really uh, by default here, um, it's not like they're going to contact your client, they would just be contacting you in these cases. Uh, if you want to take off account specialist, you can, this way you're not giving them any access, but sometimes you may need to actually get on the phone with Google and troubleshoot some stuff, so you can leave it on here. And uh, let's go ahead and click next. And we're going to just leave this as web for, for what we're tracking here and then click next. All right, and the website name again is Color Bright Painting. The URL, and you can come over and just grab it directly and paste it in here. And they're not going to let you to let you keep um, keep that. So we'll just change that out and make sure we put this to HTTPS because it's going to be a secure site if it isn't already. Uh, that's very important. The category, just find one that matches it uh, the most appropriate. So for this one, probably put home and garden. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to put home and garden for this one. All right, and then we're United States. Go ahead and select whatever time zone you're in just to make it easier to understand the reporting. And then click create. Right, we're gonna have to accept a few permissions here and here, and then click that you accept it. All right, and then it's gonna dump us onto this page with the tracking code. So we just need to click in here and copy it. And we'll go back over to the client's website and let's go into the back end because we're going to insert this script in the header uh, like we've been doing. Uh, let me just log in here. All right, so if you recall, it was under settings, insert headers and footers. And I'm just going to click here at the top, paste it, and then I'm just gonna hit enter to put a little separation there. It doesn't really matter, but just to keep it organized, it's a little easier. All right, so now that Google Analytics tag is added here and it will start tracking, 
but don't forget to click on save. All right, and we are all set with that. So if I go back over to ClickUp just to kind of follow along, uh, we confirmed, yes, that we needed to create the account, which we did. And then we added the Google Analytics pixel to the client's website. Yes, we did. All right, actually overall, we can just mark this task as closed. All right, that is it for this video. Very simple and straightforward, but an important step nonetheless. And uh, I will see you in the next video.